Hi everyone, the All England is back again and I will be looking to make my predictions in this video on who I believe could win the tournament. The Japanese team is back playing on the world tour but the Korean, Chinese, Chinese Taipei team aren't here. Uh, the Malaysia isn't also sending a full team and we have also heard that Carolina Marion has pulled out due to an injury she sustained at the Swiss Open so here I'm hoping a speedy recovery from her as well. So for my predictions today, so I'm going with a slightly different tone today, so I've made some stat cards for each of the players in each event, which I think might make the semi-finals. I will then pick my winners from there. So the stats I've picked are attack, defense, speed, power, tactical ability, and physical fitness or endurance. The maximum points is 100 points, so no one is gonna get that. Anything above 90 is already superhuman, so here's one I made for Saitama from 100 Man for reference. Uh, the top left corner is an overall average score out of 100, but you know Saitama. Um, so right, let's get into men's singles and in the top half I'm expecting King Momota to be meeting Anthony Ginting in the semis. This is going to be an amazing match, but as Kenta Momota hasn't been playing an official match for a long time, it is going to be an somewhat an unknown quantity, so we shall see. But I'm predicting Ginting to use this amazing speed and variety of shots against Momota's super steady game plan. Um, I'm predicting Anthony Ginting to come through this one as Momota gets to grip with playing against other top end players around the world. In the bottom half, I'm predicting Kanta Sunayama to make the semis against the currently on fire Victor Atzelsen. Um, as you can see from the stats, the numbers are stacked against Sunayama, but he also does have a very good retrieving game when he's on form, which is very good to watch. So we'll see. I'm expecting Victor to come through and have a fireworks of a match against Ginting in the final. Um, I will be picking my winners for all five categories at the end of the video, so please watch it all the way. Um, in women's singles, we know that Carolina Marin has unfortunately pulled out due to an injury, so I'm predicting Pornpawi Cho Chu Wong to come through instead. She's had some good form over the last few months and has been able to cause quite a few upsets or two along the way. Um, she's also managed to push Carolina to three sets last week, um, narrowly losing 19-21 in the third set, so she's definitely playing well. Uh, she should come up against PV Sindhu, who we know is currently building a form towards the Olympics later this year. Um, Sindhu also lost to Carolina last week in a final, quite tamely to be honest, but crucially has beaten Cho Chu Wong in January. I expect to see Sindhu coming through this one. Um, and in the bottom half, I expect Nozomi Okuhara and Ratchana Intanon to make the semis. Nozomi's retrieving and steady game is always good to watch, whereas Ratchana has an incredible amount of shots to play with super smooth techniques. Um, if Nozomi can keep Ratchana running all the time around the match, um, I would expect Nozomi to come through into the final. In men's doubles, the top half, it will be good to see Marcus and Kevin back in action again after they've missed January's tournaments as Kevin came down with Covid. Um, hopefully he's back at his best so he can show us why this pair is worth a 94 in both speed and their attack. Um, I'm also predicting their, their opponents for the semis would be Takuro Hoki and Yugo Kobayashi. Um, I've had my eye on this pair for a while now and they've been steadily improving over the last two years across all areas. They've actually even beaten their teammates Sakeshi Kimura and Keigo Sonoda in the Japan Nationals a few months ago, so I think they might beat them again when they meet in the later rounds here. Um, looking at the stats, I expect Marcus and Kevin to come through. Um, in the bottom half, we would have Hiroyuki Endo and Yuta Watanabe against the Daddies, Hendra Sotewan and Mwama Asan. Um, I'm hoping the Daddies have fully recovered from their injuries from January um, and am able to play full power against the defending champions from last year. Um, it will be an amazing game to watch as they have a very different style from both pairs with the daddies being super tactical with incredible shot selection but Endo and Watanabe is very very good at picking up shows. I'm expecting a tight match with Hiroyuki Endo and Yuta Watanabe to come through for a repeat of last year's final. For women's doubles I'm expecting three Japanese pairs to make the semis and the other pair to be Gracia Pauli and Apriani Rahayu from Indonesia. Top half, we will have Yuki Fukushima and Sayaka Hirota as the defending champions against the Indonesian ladies. It's going to be a tight game, but with an 8-2 record to the Fukuhiro pair, I'm picking Yuki Fukushima and Sayaka Hirota to come through. The only chance the Indonesian ladies will have will be to pick on the Japanese pair's slight weakness on the mental and confidence side of things when it gets really tight. 
Uh, bottom half, we'll see an all Japanese semis with the up and coming Nami Matsuyama and Chiharu Shida against the still defending world champions Mayu Matsumoto and Wakana Nagahara. So, Nami Matsuyama was a junior world champion back in 2016, so there's already plenty of pedigree there. But with Chiharu Shida as the younger pair, they are consistently improving and we should see a good match. I would give a slight edge to the two time world champions of Mayu Matsumoto and Wakana Nagahara to come through to the finals. Um, in the mixed doubles, I am absolutely expecting the absolute powerhouse of Praveen Jordan along with his partner Malati Octavianti to come through to the semis as they have a decent draw this year. Um, the other pair I'm expecting to come through would be Tom Gikel and Delphine Del Rue. They've had an amazing 2021 thus far and I cannot see a reason why they won't keep building and enjoying playing at the highest level. Um, they also weirdly have an amazing record against Malaysian mixed pairs this year, having beaten three Malaysian pairs last week in the Swiss Open on their way to winning. Um, so I have very high hopes for them and I, and I believe they could come through their quarters against Malaysia's Chan Ping Soon and Go Li Ying. It will be amazing if Tom Gikel and Delphine Del Rue comes through all the way to the final. Um, bottom half, we should see Marcus Ellis and Lauren Smith from the home nation coming through alongside past winner Yuta Watanabe and Arisa Higashino. Marcus and Lauren have been consistently developing well over the last two years, so I'm hoping for a good match against the incredibly speedy Japanese pair. Um, Yuta Watanabe has also been working hard physically too, and you can see he's worked a lot on building more power into his game alongside his already incredible speed and deception. Absolutely cannot wait. Um, who do you think will be winning the All England this year? Leave them down in the comments section below. So here's my pick for the winners. In men's singles, we've got Anthony Ginting against Victor Altsosen. I am expecting Victor to win his second All England title this week. We shall see. In women's singles, PV Sindhu against Nozomi Okuhara and I would be going for a Nozomi Okuhara win here. Uh, men's doubles, straightforward. The minions, Kevin Sanja, Sukamuljo, and Marcus Gidin Finaldi against Hiroki Endo and Yuta Watanabe in last year's repeat final. Um, I will be rooting for Endo and Watanabe to get their second All England title this year. Uh, women's doubles will be an all Japanese affair with quite a common late tournament occurrence with the Fukuhiro pair of Yuki Fukushima and Sayaka Hirota against Mayu Matsumoto and Wakana Nagahara. It's so hard to call between these two pairs and they have an almost equal head-to-head -head record of 5-6 with the world champions having an edge. I'm going to give this one to the Fukuhiro pair for them to level up the head-to-head -head record here. Uh, for mixed doubles, it will be double duty for Yuta Watanabe as it will be his second match if he gets this far for mixed doubles with Arisa Higashino. Uh, they will be playing against Tom Gikel and Delphine Del Rue and I would expect Yuta Watanabe and Arisa Higashino to double up and take their second title here this week. Uh, check out what rackets the pros are playing with here and I will be looking forward to an amazing week of badminton and I will see you in the next one.